Good evening, everyone. It is Tuesday evening, December 22nd. So we're only a few days away from Christmas. And uh, this will be, probably will be the last Facebook Live of this week. Um, if, if we do another one, it'll be from California. Got the volume up. Oh, volumes <laughs> up on Vicky's phone. Um, if we do another one, it'll kind of be an impromptu thing. We don't have anything scheduled. Uh, Hi, Tim. Tim uh, Forsick. Forsick. Hey, Tim. Um, we are. We'll have videos posting every day, except probably Sunday. There might not be one on Sunday because I didn't have time to I Tessa. to. Um, film a uh, senior moment but uh, there'll be videos every other day every day uh, including tomorrow all the way through uh, next Monday I've got them actually well actually I don't have tomorrow's uploaded yet we're having a little issue with that but I'll get it done anyway so uh, videos will be coming every day just like normal and we may do an impromptu live or or something from uh, California Vicky's shaking her head no, but um, we'll see. Anyway. Sorry about the lighting, guys. We didn't. Uh, is it dark? Well, no, it's kind of yellow. Yellowish? Kind of yeah. jaundish? We didn't bring the light in after our Christmas on the, the other day. We're back to our regular table, and we got <laughs> rid of that 4 by 8 uh, piece of particle board sitting on top of this table. So we got a lot more room uh, now. Justin got all his bits today. That's oh, good. That's good. Hi, Gwenny. Hi, Gwenny. Almost called you by your nickname. <laughs> so we've got a few things to talk about tonight. Uh, a couple of announcements. Again, Vicki and I are heading to California in the morning. And um, um, we're just hanging out with family and doing the Christmas family thing. Um, well, knock on wood sounds good. Video good. Well, that's good. that's good to hear. So I want to give a big shout out to Danny Meadows. Dang, I didn't bring his little printout. But Danny, uh, he saw me showing his pocket knives the other day. And he sent pocket knives to me and Vicky and Dad. And uh, here's, uh, so that's the, fine. yeah, this one is, uh, well, this one's actually Dad's because it's got the blood on it. Oh. Um, dad, uh, had never, dad had never used uh, a pocket knife that had the little flip open deal and he was trying to figure out how to open it. Uh, he finally figured it out, but he sliced his uh, little finger in the process. He was bleeding all over the place. But anyway, really cool quality knives. This is the manufacturer, True. Um, so this one is dad's, but Vicky got identical to this. Um, so this one is dad's, uh, this one is Vicky's and I don't know what model this is. They threw their boxes away. I kept my box anyway. Um, but very, very cool pocket knife. And, uh, the, let me show you mine. Mine is different than anyone I've ever Justin seen before. trying to get projects done before Christmas. I'm so far behind. Said. Justin. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good problem to have yeah. there, Justin. Oh. I guess I shouldn't seal this box up so much. Sorry. Hang on, guys. Oh, I think I just tore the box. Anyway, but check this out. This thing is stinking cool. I know it's a pocket knife. I know. Oh, hold on. So, oops. Don Knox says, Vicky got the resin letter today. Wonderful, awesome. Oh. Any other great term you can think of. Cannot wait for her to open it. Awesome. Oh, I was terrific. About that that was that sewing one, right? Yeah. Yeah. The seamstress, yeah. That thing came out I'm so glad cool. You got it. Excellent. Glad it got there in time. So check this one out, guys. So this is uh this is the pocket knife. Uh I don't know. This one is called Replaceable Blade Pocket Knife. And so check this out. I was kind of looking at it and it got super cool. And then I realized it's got a little locking mechanism here. And then when you push this little piece, the blade actually comes out and then they Look give you. you did that without cutting yourself. I did. I didn't cut myself the first time either. I know. I'm just... And so it's got a replaceable, same blade, replaceable. And then it's got a little uh, saw blade. This thing is really cool. So. No, I got, oops. It really is easy to do. And there it is. That's cool. Pretty cool. 
So thank you, Danny. Um, I love it, man. I'm going to keep this one in my truck for sure. But uh, I thought that was so unique. I've never seen one quite like that before. Very. Uh, Rod Hall says coconut oil to help heal the cut quickly. I use coconut oil on my hands two or three times a day. Oh, all the time. Oh, man, yeah. yeah. In my hair, on my face. Love that stuff. Anyway, super cool knife, Danny. Thank you so Thank much, you, buddy. Danny. So if you guys need some cool knives, go hit Danny they're up. They're sharp. Holy moly. Yeah, they're very, very sharp. Yeah, I'm not going to cut anything with them because uh, I'll probably end up bleeding all over the table. But yeah, very, very cool. So true. That's the um, the logo kind of looks almost like a Tesla logo a little bit. So anyway, we'll move on. But um, I dig knives. I love them. All right. So uh, that is that. Thank you again, Danny. And you guys go check out uh, Danny. I will, mm, how am I going to do this? In the comments somewhere I'll put, but it's Jim Price Parts. If you go, you know what? Go look at last Friday's video I, and I showed it because we gave a giveaway for uh, a Nebo giveaway. So go check out last Friday's uh, YouTube video and the link and everything is down below. So um, anyway, thanks again, Danny. We really appreciate it, it buddy. Hurt, Farley. Okay, so um, success story. So it's check. All natural. I'm sorry. I'm oh. answering. He asked if coconut oil was good for eczema. Oh. It's all natural. So I heard it's good for just Everything. tons of things. Yeah. yeah, including interior. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, Dave used to drink spoons, yeah. but take spoons of it. Ooh. Yeah. Um. So Scott Christian down in Phoenix. He's, He's the the uh, originator of the Minions Group. He uh, wrote me a success story. He says, I started going to this flea market in Whitman, Arizona about three weekends ago, and now I've sold most of my stock signs. Um, I have almost got, uh, I've got three custom orders, and this past weekend I sold $120 worth of signs. Here's a picture of his little setup. So this just gives you an idea, guys. Uh, you don't have to have anything fancy. If you've got a good product, people will buy it. That there's a like sun glare behind it. Yeah, but you can still see it. Yeah, but it, just three little tables, mm -hmm. and he's got his Oops. signs all over there. So, um, guys, don't wait until you got something super fancy. Just get your product out there, and uh, if you got a good product, people will buy it. So, congratulations, Scott. I'm proud of you, man. That's awesome. Your stuff is looking better all the time, and. Obviously, you got customers buying stuff, so that's terrific news, buddy. Congratulations. Um, okay, so I'm going to get right into the question, uh, and this one is, is fairly quick, but this is, a gen well, I guess this is a kind of a review for people that have been around for a while, but uh, especially for new people, and we've got a lot of new people. Um, so this is from Mike, and... Uh, um, I think it's Mike Jones down in Florida. He says, my question is, uh, you're aware that most of my work here at the beach is in shape of whales, starfish, sand dollars. Um, some of these are big. Whales are five foot long. Starfish and sand dollars are 32 inches wide. We've showed his stuff before. Remember that starfish that had the, the, uh, the glass in the middle? Mm -hmm. Really cool really stuff. Cool. Very, very cool stuff. Um, I've been using 1x12 boards or 2x12 for the whales. I've been having some cupping and warping issues. Someone told me that using narrower boards such as 1x4s or 1x6s or 2x6s um, would narrower boards, the narrow boards, narrower, that doesn't sound right, um, make it more sturdy. So here's the thing that I learned actually from somebody on Facebook that uh, used to follow us. I, I'm not sure whether Jimmy follows us, but his name is Jimmy and he made these big, huge headboards and footboards for custom beds. And he used to carve all kinds of stuff in there, but he carved the Harley logo. And his, he was really a master at making large panels, putting big boards together. So much, much bigger than, than the normal big sign. And he said, if you use pieces no wider, if you cut your pieces no wider than three inches, and you can put as many of them together as you want to, and they'll stay flat. 
Now, you know, obviously you've got to have good edges and, you know, good glue and all that. But if you, if you stay to small strips, now I'm not sure. I think he was using one by stuff and he might've been putting a backer on him. I really don't know. He might've been using dowels or biscuits or, or dominoes for that matter. I don't know. But I do know when I make bigger signs, I don't buy anything wider than a two by six. And most of the time I, when I make my big signs, I'm using two inch redwood, either two by fours or two by sixes. And the redwood that we get down here in, um, in Northern Arizona, in Bullhead City or uh, even Kingman, um, it's generally made for decking. So there are some knots and stuff I've got to work around or solidify or stabilize. But basically, I like making my big boards out of two inch redwood um, and it works out really well for me, but I won't put anything. So on a two by six, uh, on a two by six board, the max I go is five inches, but that's an inch and a half thick. So I think I can, I've never had any issues with that at all. So if you're using thicker material, you can probably, you know, push that out to five inches and I've never again I've never had any issues with that at all says, uh, and alternate the green that way all the warping doesn't go to the same way yeah I didn't used to do that I try to do that now uh, but even when I didn't do it um, having an inch and a half thick and only okay. going five inches wide I still had never had any issues with cupping at all but alternating the grain so if you've got the grain going this way looking at the end of the board then get the grain going the other direction you know alternate them uh, that's always a good idea um, but anyway I've already answered Mike but um, if you guys get into making big boards, just cut your, your strips down to small strips. And uh, that will really help in the, um, the sturdiness of the board and help keep it from cupping. All right, we have some comments here. Okay. I'm sorry. I just wanna... No, that's good. I was pretty much wrapping that up Scott anyway. Scott said, thank you, Eric. It's all because you got because uh, of you getting me started to do the signs. Uh, thank you, buddy. I'm, I'm proud of you, man. That's terrific. I'm just super stoked for you. Tess is multitasking. She's torching her resin while she's watching. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> that sounds a little dangerous. <laughs> Lon Oric is here. Hi, Lon. Hey, Lon. I haven't, seen, I haven't talked to Lon for a while. from Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sorry, I didn't know how far to go. Jeff Dale is late, but he's here now. Hey, Jeff. Uh, Charles Wister says, Jeff, great job with the flag auction. Yeah, that was terrific. That was really cool. I'm going to show, actually, the funny thing is, in Sign Carvers of the Day, which I'm going to do here in a minute, Jeff Dale is part of that, and Scott Christian. And I can't remember if Charlie's in there or not, but Jeff and, and Scott are. are ashamed to add strips to the back of your board. They help, of, they yeah. help avoid the warping asking how i know <laughs> that's frank that's frank yeah uh, mickey schultz says eric that knife is way too sharp for you let me send you my address <laughs> <laughs> hi jason i didn't cut myself with it yet but yeah. it's that thing's cool but um yeah putting strips on the back not a bad idea at all um didn't frank yeah. have a big one that worked real bad i think he did have a um an issue with one uh, I can't remember. remember the camper, wasn't it? That he painted. It oh, he did. Yeah, he de he definitely had an issue with that one. Yeah, that was for a uh, for a lady, a local lady there. All right, so let me move that out of the way. Let's get into. Oh, and also the sign carvers of the day. You guys took me up on it when I told you you could send. You know, uh, every week send a, a picture. Man, you guys hit me up. My stack is big. So we're back to one month in between sending pictures, please. Just one picture per month um, per person for a while. Because, uh, yeah, I got a big stack. Sorry, I keep, keep, I'm trying to read this and it's bouncing all over. Get Lonzo just got home from the north for Christmas. Ah. Uh, Jeff Van Sickler says, did mine make the cut yet or did I miss it already? Jeff, uh, I don't know if don't you're think, in here. Seems like I remember showing one of yours, Jeff. I can't remember, but it seems like I did. Mm -hmm. But um, shoot me an email. Jeff, shoot me an email. I'll see if I can find it and let you know. 
Frank Jenkins says, Danny Meadows is an awesome vendor and carver. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Tessa's been talking with uh, um, Danny. Danny? Yeah. Yeah. And I guess Danny had some S's backwards or upside down mm -hmm. or something. So Tessa kind of, you know, told him not he, trying to be critical. Yeah. He was ex extremely grateful. And, yeah. Danny is such a cool dude. Is. Him, him and, his, and his wife, uh, Dawn. His wife's name yeah. is Dawn. That was such a cool zoom that we did with them Jeff, uh, Jeff says Jeff Dale says just wanted to share we had a couple additional donate donators and finally final total was six hundred and eighty three dollars wow. I love you all 90% came from the minions that's, that's fantastic awesome. that is so awesome cool group. that is so freaking cool congratulations Jeff good for you buddy yeah, that that's awesome. terrific Jeff G fusion yeah fusion do you seal the wood after you carve it to prevent bleeding? I seal before I carve. I normally seal it before I carve. If it's pine, if it's, if it's just redwood or cedar, I don't because I don't have a bleeding issue with that. But if you have a tendency like, uh, who, who was it? Uh, I think it was Pam Berry that said she confesses she's an over sprayer. Over -sprayer. She so said, hi, I'm Pam Berry. I'm, I'm an, an oversprayer. Over <laughs> so if you tend to be like Pam and you're an oversprayer. Oh, she's you... just saying, I'm finishing up the order of six little signs. I have to deliver them tomorrow. That's Pam. Oh. I hope you're, I hope your knee's feeling better, Pam. Yeah. I hope you're getting, you, you getting around better. Oh boy. Six surgeries. Yeah. I've been through it. Um, um, I'm sorry, and I'm going to interrupt again. Parley says, I would rather a minion point out my mistakes than in my customers. Oh, so that's point, a really Parley, good yeah. point. Very good point. So uh, where was I going? Oh, yeah. I'm as sorry. far as sealing up your board. Seal up your board if you tend to overspray. If it's pine, definitely seal it up. But I seal it up when I first get the board. And I'm using either sanding sealer, but now the last couple of times I've been using just the clear spray. So if you don't have sanding sealer, you can do it with just that uh, Rust-Oleum clear spray. And I give it two coats. When I give it one coat, it didn't see, it, I still got a little bleed on pine. So I would give it two coats. Um, let's see, I'm sorry. That's okay. Jeff Van Sickler says I'm an oversprayer too. LOL. Pam says it's getting better. Thank you. <laughs> Jeff, it hit her knee. Jeff oh. says I'm using pine, red cedar, and cherry. Thomas Gent says so hard not to overspray. Seems like I tried, but I just don't get it all covered. Yeah. I mean, it looks like it's not covered, but. And it it's is. an optical illusion, you guys. And um, remember this when you watch Friday's Zoom. Because the person that we have on the Friday Zoom, he talks about that. He talks about being an oversprayer and have, having to kind of back off. But it, it, it truly is an optical illusion if you think that you haven't got it all covered. Chad said, uh, I've tried using a clear spray with polyurethane. They do not play well together. No, I don't imagine they would. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry. They're bouncing so fast. I got to look over here. Okay. Um, Comments and questions? Yeah. Okay. Don Spicer says, Jeff, I carved a lot of cherry and do not use sanding sealer on it. No problem with bleeding. Yeah, Frank, I've never had any problem with cherry either. Frank says, trust Eric when he says the black does not have to be 100% saturated. Thank you, Frank. Tessa says, I want someone to tell me right away and not um, after I've been doing it for a month. Yeah. Bruce Peter, the only way we get better is by getting honest feedback. Absolutely. We've talked yep. about that a lot. Yep, absolutely. Um, <laughs> Andy Earl says, Oversprayers Anonymous. <laughs> hey, Jeff Andy. Says, okay, thank you, Don. Uh, Gary Mason, good evening, folks. Hey, Gary. Hello, Michelle. Me and Michelle are doing business together. Michelle. Michelle uh, Swindeman Booth. Oh, cool. Doing some business. Yeah. Doing some business. All right, are we ready here? Yep, I'm sorry. All right, sign carvers of the day. So this one is really cool. This is from Jim and Jenny White. Now, uh, he, he sent a PDF, and sometimes on a PDF, I can't seem to adjust them down to the 5 by 7s But anyway, this is Jim and Jenny, and they live, check this out, they live on Isle of Hope, which is a barrier island on the coast of Savannah, Georgia. 
which is sounds like an amazing place. So Jim did the Blue Heron. Uh, is that right yeah. there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, did the Blue Heron for uh, for Jenny, and then he carved this one. It's a 24 inch round, and it's out of eucalyptus. But this is what it looks like from their uh, from their front porch or back porch. I can't remember. But uh, he says it's uh, where they live is paradise. So it's a barrier island on the coast of Savannah, Georgia. Anyway, great job, Jim. Gary Mason says, question, read dad's thing in the parcel. How do I make it? Say that one more time. The wee dad's thing in the parcel? <sighs> Gary, oh. I, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, I don't know if that's a autocorrect uh, thing there and uh, it's misspelling it because we dads, it just sounds like a, a very tiny father. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Michelle says, I'm excited. Uh, Charlie Booster says, I hope she does those wooden cups. I'd love to buy one with a minion sticker on it or even a make wood sign. Oh. Mm. Stacy says, if you're an oversprayer like me, then invest in a sandpaper cleaner, big rubber block from Harbor Freight. Oh, boy. Okay. Holly yeah. Holly said, is there a 12-step program for that? <laughs> <laughs> Tim Forsick says, uh, you must be part of the, over, uh, the recovery program. Jeffrey Dale says, where do you get your corrugated, corrugated cardboard? Um, you know, I normally buy that from uh, Uline. I think the last yeah, few times, I think we bought it from Uline. Cool. It's not, you know, it's not the cheapest. Okay. If you have a... I'm sorry, I've got you from here to here, so oh. hold up a picture that we can oh. at least look at. <laughs> Thank you. Steve Bartlett. Um, so uh, anyway, on the corrugated paper, you might have a, a local uh, packaging company that you can get that stuff, but we get it on Uline. Um, somebody said, do you hear spraying? Uh, somebody says, uh, uh, Rod Hall says, it's Eric's fidget spinner. <laughs> it's a spinner. It's a thing spinner. Um, That's funny. So Steve Bartlett made customized trikes for his grandkids. Check that out. That is so cool. I love it. Do you see that, babe? But yeah, I saw yeah. that. I got the email. That is so cool. Everybody's going. It's Eric's fidget spinner. Great fidget job, spinner. Steve. Oh, well, I'm it's not right doing it now. I know. It's yeah. right by your mic. So. Oh, yeah. Great job, Steve. All right. Mickey Sewell. So this one's really cool, and it's a great idea. He took our dog set, uh, 10 different dogs, and uh, he made a little mobile um, using uh, our dog layout templates, and then he uh, used heavy duty um, fishing uh, swivels in between and made a, just kind of a, a mobile with it. So they're carved on, um, uh, they're carved independently two-sided cedar. And uh, I think it's a, a really cool idea. So, you know, you could do that with just about any, um, any of uh, layout templates or anything. And uh, he, I think he sold quite a few of them. So anyway, great job, Mickey. Cool idea. So here's that thing from Jeff, Jeff Dale. So he did this for a friend at work. It's a two level challenge coin holder. The top part, and if you can't see it, this is actually, uh, gosh, let me, gosh, I'm hoping you can see it. Vicky's over on the phone. So let me, uh, let me point this out. So <laughs> we've got uh, like a second level here that's got, slits in it for challenge coins and then the challenge coins will also fit down here um but yeah jeff man that is and and of course this looks like body armor um it's in the shape of body armor which i think is just a cool idea oh my gosh so um and then the bottom has the badge and command coin inlaid and that's these down here the command coin and the badge but uh, such a, a great idea, Jeff. Sorry, I'm going to try to zoom in on that. I had to take that call. Oh, I oh. can see. Yeah, that's good. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, terrific job. Jeff, that is so unique. I just, I love it. I think it's so cool. Uh, Robert Ledlow. Um, and this is for a customer. Also made uh, the customer an Auburn Tigers. I think it was a husband and wife. One's an Alabama fan and one's an um, Auburn fan. But, um, down just a little. There you go. great job, Robert. I love it. 
Terrific. Beautiful. Charlie. Yeah, Charlie is. I thought Charlie was in there. So Charlie Wooster. Uh -oh. I'm going to have to zoom in on that. On this one? Yeah, there's no color on no, it. So it's, it's, customer it's, wants to finish it themselves. Um, um, so you can... Dino treats? Yeah, dino treats. treats. Oh, so you, like a, you can see how big... I don't know how big it is, but you can see it's got to be pretty big. This is a... It looks like a Ford Explorer or something behind it. Um, so I don't know how big that is, Charlie. You, I don't think you told me. But... Um, that's really cool. Yeah, so it says uh, Dino Treats and a uh, Dino Treats Dispensary. <laughs> Todd Renshaw. This is for uh, Charlie Wooster for the Christmas Minion Giveaway Exchange. Oh, that's from Charlie? No, it's for Charlie. Oh, it's for from Charlie. Todd for Charlie. So I hope I didn't oh, just give yeah. that away. Charlie, did you already get this? I haven't, uh, you know, I, I have to apologize, Charlie guys. says it's 30 by 8 long. It's the biggest sign I've ever done. Yeah, that thing's huge. Hold 30 inches. Yeah. Oh. Um, anyway, so Charlie, I imagine you already got this. At least I hope so. I hope so, because otherwise I just ruined it. <laughs> Sorry, Todd. Great sign, though. Great job, buddy. And uh, Scott Christian. So this is for his Minion Santa exchange, made out of a, a hundred-year-old piece of hemlock. Oh, that was for um, beautiful. Uh, his uh, his exchange, but I don't. I didn't write down who it was. Jeff says that is for a medical or recreation. Is that a medical or recreational dispensary? I'm not sure. So that one from Charlie. Oh, it's Dino. Yeah, I don't know. Charlie said he did get it, but he has nothing to eat yet. I feel guilty because I haven't finished his. Ah. I have um, nothing to eat yet. Go eat, Charlie. Go eat, Charlie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm picturing the Snickers commercial. Oh, Shirley Hall Freeman. That's who that was for. Scott made for Shirley. Oh. I saw her uh, unwrap it. She oh, unwrap did it. she? Uh, Gina Murphy. So, um, it hasn't tried. I wanted to show this off. Because this is all done with a wood burning tool. But she hasn't tried routing yet, but she's in the process of doing yeah, that. she just ordered a bunch of stuff. Gina did? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but this is really good for wood burning. Really she's... well done. Great job, Gina. Beautiful. And last but not least, Steve. Amos. Aww. Can I'm you... writing to let you know I've been naughty two years. Naughty this year, and it was worth it. <laughs> Who made that? Steve. Steve Amos. Steve Amos. Yeah. Oh, I love that. So he used the carving liner and then one shot for the color. One shot paint for the color. It was worth it. Yeah, that's really cool. Very, very neat. All right, so. Uh, Great job, guys. Christina Hi, Christina. Hey, Christina. She said, is hemlock a harder wood than select pine? I think I've carved hemlock, but I can't remember. I know my sister and brother-in-law up in Alaska, they make all their signs out of hemlock because I guess there's a bunch of it up there. I don't I don't know that there's a bunch of it around here. Um, it seems like I have carved hemlock, but I have to, I can't remember, honestly. But I think it's pretty hard. I do. I think it's, it's much harder than cedar and redwood and pine. Okay, so here we go. So um, where do you go? Gary asked about that question we couldn't figure out. Yeah. He said, in the package with the router bits, there's a clear bag with a little thing saying, Dad's traditional root beer. Oh. How do I make it? And if I like, can I order more? We get them on Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. And I make oh. all the little candy bags. So that's the tiny dads. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Frank says, I've received Ron Osling's sign, but mine has not made it to him yet. USPS, yeah. Yeah, I think um, uh, Darren and I uh, just sent ours. Darren Smith and I sorry, are I'm exchange that partners. My, my phone and not paying attention to this one, which is looking at your chest. Oh, sorry, sorry Where guys. Are you sorry, that was me. Bruce Peter, FYI, West Coast Carvers Bethlehem Star is vis visible again tonight. Check out the Southwest Sky Near Horizon just after dusk. Really? Yeah, that's right. I heard that the first time in... How long has it been, Frank? Uh, uh, Bruce? Is that Bruce? 
So what's visible? It's the uh, it's the Bethlehem star. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, I, I saw something about that. It, yeah, it's called the Bethlehem star. And it's, it's in the, the south southwest south sky. Southwest sky, yeah. Huh. Oh, it's a candy. Dang, I thought it was uh, to mix and make a drink. <laughs> no, it's a candy. <laughs> well, Hi, I, Gary. Yeah. 800 Sir. years. First time in 800 years. Wow. At Bethlehem Star. Wow. Oh, my gosh. It, it, that just means that God's showing us there's hope. Yep. If there's a year we needed that, it's this, this, this year. year. Yeah. All right, Thank boys and girls. I think that oh. is. Yeah, back in the 1600s. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah. Wow. Um, all right, boys and girls, I think that's you know it. What? I think Justin got a picture of it last night. I saw a post. Really? Um, yeah, because he said it was beautiful last night. Huh. Alignment of Jupiter and Saturn. Wow. Yeah, I didn't hear anything about it. I've been kind of swamped today trying to get videos done and uploaded and still not done. I've got a couple hours to go. Um all right, kids, that is it. I think that um, probably you won't hear from us again until um, at least before Christmas, but uh, maybe sometime over the weekend, we'll get a chance to do something. It'll probably be an impromptu and we'll just throw it up. Even if it's not Vicky, maybe Ryan and I um, goofing around doing something in the, in the shop. Um, but anyway, guys, we wish for you guys the best Christmas and, uh, and you guys, you know, healthy. thank you. Stay healthy. Yeah. Thanks so much for all of your, uh, all of your support, uh, over this year and, um, for the well wishes. And of course, you know, all of the great comments and Gary all the Mason love. Says, thanks for the bits. They look so far superior to what I was using. Good. Good. Let me know how it works out, Gary. I'm, I'm glad to hear Somebody that. I hope they work. Somebody said tired tonight. Oh, it was Jason Harrison said. You're tired. It's been He's quite been a day. Running. It's, it's been quite, been quite a, a yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yesterday I was up at two. This morning I was up at three, and yeah, it's uh, and yeah, I'm all. You better, Tessa. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I've got uh, it's still a couple more hours of, of work to do, but um, sorry about that. I don't mean to look tired. So anyway, so much for this one going to be a fast one. Look at we're going long. Yeah, now we're going wrong. Yeah, well, that's your fault. You know, of course it all is. those comments and stuff. So, do me a favor, guys. Um, when you see this on YouTube and all of our YouTube videos, please comment. And you guys have been really stepping it up and giving us a lot of comments on YouTube. And uh, we're, you know, that I, I just think we're getting more exposure that way. So, thanks so much, guys. We love you. Merry Christmas. We hope you guys just have. Uh, a great Christmas and stay healthy, stay safe, and uh, God bless. yeah, and uh, don't drink and drive. Yeah, oh yeah, my gosh, yeah. Please. So stay, uh, stay safe and that uh, warm. Beer and yeah, home. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys and girls, thanks so much, and uh, you'll see uh, hopefully a new project video tomorrow morning if I can get it uploaded tonight. That's what I'm hoping for. So uh, thanks, guys. We love you. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.